What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comatic Medium Prophets, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the holy angels, and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. I also come on here and do back out messages, and I'm going to do a reading for Leo. One second, Leo. I hope that's enough light. Hope y'all can see me. Okay. Leo, Leo. What's going on for my Leo? Ooh, we have the death card here. Could be dealing with a water sign. Tell me about this death. What type of death is this? I'm hearing a physical death. Hearing somebody may pass away in jail. Somebody might not get the proper care, or somebody is gonna somebody somebody is not getting proper proper care, or somebody or this is what I'm hearing. Somebody is not getting proper care, or somebody is not taking care of themselves. And the reason that in y'all y'all gotta forgive me. I, my words have been getting discombobulated with me. Ugh. See what I'm saying? Somebody don't even want me to get these messages out because it's like my words has been getting discombobulated lately. But listen, somebody is not getting the proper care or somebody um, needs to take care of themselves. Whether this person is not getting the proper care or they need to take care of themselves, there is about to be some type of death here. Spirit, tell me more. Give me some more clarification, please. Somebody could have breadcrumbed you. They were possibly supposed to give you something, but they didn't give it to you. Somebody needs to take care of their hygiene. I'm hearing somebody could have sex and then they don't wash up after. They just kind of like a, take a, a sink bath. Sometimes somebody don't even do that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Somebody may die in jail or something like that. I'm hearing. Or somebody, so if somebody is not in jail, they could be like in a mental prison. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. I see what's going on here now. Yeah. Okay. There is a queen of wands here that could have some type of sexually transmitted disease. I'm also seeing that this queen of wands could actually be a man. This could be a masculine that's gay. They're coming out as the queen of wands because they're low vibrational. And I'm all, I got chills up my spine as I'm do, as I'm doing this. That must be my spirit guides and my ancestors like really helping me push this out. But there is a queen of wands here, y'all. Spirit, y'all got to stop doing that. Like my spirit guides, I be in the middle of readings and they'll just be telling me, "Oh, we're proud of you. We love you. Good job. Good job. That's right. That's right." So anyway, <laughs> anyways, y'all, back to what I was saying. Listen, thank y'all. Thank you, spirit. I love y'all too. But um, look. I feel like whoever this queen of wands is, right? This queen of wands is a man, but they're coming out as a queen of wands because I feel like they, they have, they operate in feminine energy. Okay. And they're gay. Spirit is telling me that this masculine is gay. They're, they're having to put their sword down. They're, they're in this mental prison. Okay. They're in this mental prison because they know that they're about to experience a death. Spirit is saying, no, no, no. They don't know they're about to experience a death, but they know that they're sick. And I feel like somebody is not properly taking care of themselves. I could be picking up on this masculine again that I told you has some type of incurable sexually transmitted disease. They're gay. They're, they have been in the closet for a while. And I feel like they got HIV. They got AIDS. They got. They could have all those diseases that I picked up on in that blackout message that I did. But they haven't been properly taking care of themselves. Look at the Grim Reaper standing over this person. This person has... It's, they're in this mental prison they're having to put this sword down because it's like this person could have came at you. This person could have did a lot of fucked up shit to you. And now they're receiving karma. And the Grim Reaper is going to come get this person. I'm hearing that song again by Bone Thugs and Harmony. Meet me at the crossroads. If this reason, if this reading resonates for you, I want you to go on my channel. I did a, a, a blackout message maybe a couple weeks ago. 
um, where I had Bone Thugs and Harmony playing Crossroads, where I said people are about to start dying in threes. This may resonate for you. Yeah. I feel like somebody don't know what the fuck to do because they sick. The spirit is saying this person is sick and they need to come out of the closet. But I'm hearing that the closet has all the closet door has already been the been been uh revealed. I'm hearing somebody the truth has come out about I told y'all somebody is a top or a bottom, but I'm hearing somebody could actually be a bottom. Somebody may like it from the back, from the bottom. They could be a top and a bottom, or whoever this masculine that they sleep with is versatile. They both can so one masculine may do it on the top, one masculine may do it on the bottom. They switch roles, but they in love with each other. And this masculine is in love with this masculine. And I feel like this masculine that they're tied to could have outed them out. But what this masculine didn't tell this person was was they had HIV. This 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 masculine is revengeful. Listen, ooh, ooh. Hold on, y'all. I gotta light some of my Palo Santo for this, cause this shit is finna hit deep. One second, y'all. And I hope y'all doing well. I hope y'all doing okay, Leo. And if you're new to my channel, man, I pick up on all type of energy. So you, if you used to the same recurring, so like say you do, you you come on here and you watch your uh, zodiac sign reading. I'm not gonna pick up on the same storyline. Sometimes I will, sometimes I don't. It just depends. But I'm gonna break this down for you, Leo. Now listen, cleanse my energy, Lord. I just ask you to cleanse my energy, cleanse my space because people don't be want me to get this stuff out. Listen. This is somebody that you was in a relationship with. This is a man. Even though they're coming out as a queen of wands, they're coming out as a queen of wands because they're gay. They've been in the closet, okay? They have a gay lover here that's coming out in the same energy. Their gay lover is a bitch. This person is a bitch. And no, I'm not speaking negative on the LGBTQ. I'm not calling anybody that's gay a bitch. What I'm saying is they bitch made. They operate in low vibrational feminine energy. They don't handle their business. This is the type of masculines. Both of these motherfuckers can have kids. Or this one person could have kids. This could be the person that you was tied to. This is the type of motherfucker because they gay or because they in the closet or because they can't control you because they're a narcissist. They don't take care of their fucking kids. Now, that's irrelevant. The gist of this reading and the main re energy of this reading is, is that whoever this masculine is that you're tied to that operates in feminine energy, their masculine has outed them out because they bitch made and they also have taken revenge on this person because you could be this person you could be the mother of this person's kids you could be this person's wife you could be married to this person i don't fucking know or you could have been in some type of committed relationship with this person you can have children with this person or you don't have to have children with this person but what spirit is telling me is this masculine has always been heartbroken at the fact that this person had a family this masculine has always been heartbroken at the fact that this person has always been with somebody this person this person never got over this person this masculine and this masculine here that's coming out as feminine energies both of them a bitch made they they probably could have been sleeping with each other for years but behind your back or th or they could have slept with each other as children so for years one second let me get a drink and spirit is telling me whoever this person's gay lover is they've outed them out because this gay lover thinks that this person could be with you and they're not with you. Somebody thinks a masculine has went back to their family. But what I'm seeing here is, is that you could possibly already know that this masculine is gay because you can feel it intuitively or you could have always known. But I feel like because this person had so much love for you at one point, they they stopped messing with their gay lover. But I feel like when you separated from this person, they started to get back active. They felt like they could be themselves. But this person was never truly themselves because they wore a mask. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm burping. Excuse me, y'all. Um. They are, they were a mask to the community. And I feel like you could have tried to tell the community this. Spirit is telling me to get my kipper deck. One second. Yeah, man. Look, I can't make this shit up. Look at this. Bad health. I told y'all bad health. This masculine is fucking sick. I can't make this shit up. As soon as I picked up my Kipper deck, I pulled out the bad health card. I can't make this shit up, man. Y'all tell me I'm making this shit up. Don't worry, though, because you need to keep going on your journey. And this is the... Um, um, you're about to get some type of great fortune, okay? That's a side note. That's irrelevant. I mean, it's not irrelevant, but that's a side note. Listen, 
Damn. Woo. This is a powerful ass reading right here. If you can't feel this shit, I don't know. This must not be resonating for you. This goddamn masculine then outed this person out because they in love with him. And this, this masculine... Look, I need to quit calling these. They, I mean, they're men. They are men, but they coming out as the queen of wands because they, 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 they operate in their feminine energy. And I don't, I'm not being disrespectful to the LGBTQ because there's some gay males that's more masculine than they are. You know, I'm so saying just because you're gay doesn't mean that you're like, you know, you can be very masculine and be gay. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of gay men that are extremely masculine. But these two motherfuckers, they bitch made because they both of them are narcissists. They both try to one up each other. And this this masculine here, your masculine that you were tied to, that you could have separated from. I don't know if you were married to this person. You got kids with this person. You was in some type of committed relationship with this person. This masculine is in love with this man. Okay, but they don't, they, they have been exposed to the community and they're in hiding from everybody. They don't want nobody to know where they at. And all of these fucking people in the background, including this masculine here, they think they with you, but you ain't even fucking with this person. Cause look, I told you, you on your journey, you on your pathway, you, uh, you separated from this person and you about to receive some type of great fortune. Hell, I told you the death card came out. This person could actually experience a death. So if you got children with this person, you may end up getting some type of uh, uh, great fortune for, for, for this masculine passing away or if you were married to this person you might you might finna be a widower and I feel like you knew this person was gay or you could have suspect, suspected they were gay and they denied it but now the truth is look I can't make this shit up look the coffin card now the death card came out and then now the coffin card. I can't make this shit up, man. I'm telling you, this masculine is sick. And spirit is telling me they not even fucking taking care of themselves. They need to go to the fucking doctor, but they scared. And this masculine that they tied to, they intentionally gave them HIV. They knew they had AIDS before they even slept with this fucking person. And I'm hearing they slept with each other unprotected. At first they could have used condoms, but then they started doing it unprotectedly. And I feel like this masculine is so embarrassed and they're in hiding because they feel bad because they've been exposed from to the community but spirit is telling me but spirit is telling me the reason why god is raining down on this person so hard is because this person tried to expose you and sabotage you and ruin you when you were a good person so god said no uh uh-uh. you thought you was gonna this is sad. You thought you was going to do our child like this? Now your secrets is finna come out. And I feel like you didn't even have no secrets. Or if you did, they wasn't no bad secrets. Shit, it's just some shit you went through in your life. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me some more messages, please. Look, and this person is in poverty. Somebody could be homeless. Somebody could be living on the street. Somebody could be in a shelter right now. This is where they're in hiding at. Yeah, I told you, you about to get some type of unexpected income. I feel like this great fortune that you're about to get, that has something to do with the journey that you're on, your path that you're on, your, your, your calling over your life, your divine mission here on earth. But this unexpected income is going to be something for you and your children because this masculine is about to experience some type of death. And I'm hearing the type of death that they may experience. This death may actually be like... This masculine may end up killing their gay lover because they're embarrassed because they've been exposed to the community that they're gay. Or either they're going to die in, uh, uh, die. I'm here in jail, may, maybe be jail, or they're going to die from AIDS soon. I don't fucking know. Take what resonates, leave what don't. You know who this person is. I'm hearing broke back mountain, man. This is like some real life broke back mountain shit. Look, I told you, look, this masculine is in despair. I can't make this up bad health this masculine is sick and i'm telling you this masculine's gay lover they knew that they had hiv but this masculine wanted revenge they hated you because this, they hate you because this the love that this masculine has for you but you separated from this person and you dodged the hell of a bullet when you separated from this person god protected you tell god thank you tell god thank you because he protected you from getting this incurable uh disease Anything else, Spirit, before I close this out? Yeah, you're this mature woman here. Yeah, you about to get a wealthy man. Look at that. Look, I can't make this up. The community card, the community knows about this. This masculine has outed this person out. You don't worry. Don't you worry because, see, you on this journey. You fulfilling your divine mission here on earth. You have a calling over your life. So keep walking on your journey. I feel like God woke you up and God probably intentionally pulled you away from this person. Because I'm hearing this was some type of karmic cycle that you had to close out because this person was a narcissist. They were a devil in your life. 
And I feel like it could have been really hard for you to separate from this person because you had a lot of love for this person. You was truly a king of queen of cups, but they was never a king of cups to you. Hell, they were. I feel like at one point when you could have met this person, they could have possibly been a, a king of wands and there was the king of wands to the queen of wands. But you bossed up into an empress or an emperor. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like this person just went cold on you because you may have decided to move on with your life. I'm here. But you're on this you're on this journey. You have a calling over your life. You on this missing mission. You on this journey, and this is how you're gonna get get your great fortune for living in uh your your, your for living out your true calling for staying on your uh, excuse me for staying on your mission for staying on your journey. That's how you're gonna get some type of great fortune. Okay, yeah. This is a gift. This is a gift from the divine for doing the work. Okay. This is why you're selling on into the distant horizons. But with this community card right here, everybody knows about this person. This person is in hiding. And I feel like somebody is going to try to kill their gay lover because they embarrassed. Somebody might not even, somebody might not even able to, I'm so tired of my words getting discombobulated. Somebody might not, might not, ape. somebody do not want me to get this out. Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please protect me as, as I do this message. Somebody... <sighs> Look, and now I done lost train of thought. That's how I know somebody don't want me to get these messages out, man. This shit be pissing me off, man. People be sending all type of fucking chaos magic and shit. Neighbors and shit. I get so tired of this shit. Anyways, I guess if I miss something, it must, it must not be, must have not been, see what I'm saying, y'all? I guess it wasn't meant for me to say it, okay? Maybe spirit of, look, look how my cars just flew off my desk like that. Oh my God that's the enemy yeah this is confirmation i told you you on your pathway you on your journey this is sad and i'm sick of these entities and shit and, and, and people that don't want me to get these messages out because this is gonna help somebody this gay lover is a bitch they bitch made this person didn't met they match and i'm hearing this is the fucked up part and the sad part of it this person could have left you for a karmic energy that's a female, and this bitch got it too, and they got it from this person. Now, this karmic energy, this Jezebel here, they're a fucking hoe anyways. They probably could have had some type of sexually transmitted disease, and I'm seeing a blood disorder too. So, uh, somebody could have lupus or sickle cell here, and they could have been putting blood in this person's food. I picked up on all, all of that already, so this is, this is just the same shit I'm picking back up on, but I'm hearing they've contracted HIV from this person too. Because this person got it from their gay lover. And this gay lover is mad. Because they think this person is with you. But this person is in hiding. Because they're embarrassed by the community. Because everybody knows that this person is gay. The truth is coming out. And you could have tried to tell the community. And the community didn't believe you. They could have thought you were lying. And now the truth is coming out. This person is in hiding. And they're in despair. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed. Period. Point blank. Hey, baby girl. Your sissy opened the door. Y'all, my daughter, y'all, look. <laughs> she didn't crowd on in here. <laughs> Thank you. Here. Here you go. I don't know why your sissy do that. Here, here you go, baby. Let me see it's some clothes. <laughs> Y'all, my kids is funny as hell. But anyways, you see how I keep getting distractions? Somebody don't want me to get this out for real, man. Man, this person is contemplating and thinking what the hell they going to do. They don't know how to get out of this, but somebody won't even go to the doctor. I told you somebody is going to fall from. Y'all, hold on real quick, okay? Y'all hold that thought, all right? Y'all, give me one second. I am so sorry. This shit sad. That's how I know somebody don't want me to get this out. Y'all don't. Hold on.
lord okay y'all i'm back i'm pretty sure y'all can fast forward once i upload all right i'm so sorry about that spirit give me some closing message y'all y'all i'm a single mother so i'll be having a multitask so if you don't like that i'm sorry but i have to take care of my babies now okay look jail thank you spirit jail now this is what i'm hearing this is what spirit is telling me that You see the one or two things here. Somebody is going to go to jail. I feel like this mask in here may actually try to kill their gay lover because they've been exposed by the, to the community of who they truly are. The mask has fallen off about this, how this person did you. The mask has fallen off about how they did this karmic lover, this female here. And I feel like the mask, it, it, they haven't necessarily did nothing to this person, but they gave this person HIV because they got it from their gay lover. This mask is in despair. They're in hiding. I'm hearing they're in a shelter somewhere. Somebody could have took, somebody could have scraped up all the money that they had and went to some type of shelter. Yeah, in another city or another town. I keep hearing, I've been picking up on Austin, Texas. Yeah, I think that's it out of my Kipper deck. Yeah, this person was a false person in your life, man. Okay, you're about to get some type of message of concern, man. Okay, you just keep going on your pathway. You on your pathway, okay? Keep going on your journey. Keep selling on in the distant horizons because you're about to receive a great fortune and a gift. And you're also about to get a wealthy man here, okay? Spirit, please give me some closing messages for Leo, please. Is there anything else? But somebody is about to go to jail, man, because I feel like somebody is going to kill their gay lover. Or if they, I feel like somebody may be too sick. Somebody could not, somebody could just be thinking about killing their gay lover because they're in despair. They're embarrassed and they're in poverty and they're in this bad health. But I feel like they're not going to be able to do it because somebody is not taking care of themselves. Thank you, spirit. Somebody is not taking care of themselves because they know if they go to the doctor, they're going to find out that they got AIDS yeah and this karmic feminine man if you if you see this karmic feminine and they look okay or this or that and the third don't pay this person no attention this person so this could have this could be a jezebel pygmesia type energy if you see this karmic feminine here if somebody look like they happy and abundant they not this person is in despair too because they didn't call something yeah and i keep yeah this person in yeah somebody is in a theory there's several people here that's in a mental prison about this shit and it's like, I don't know why I keep, it's like, I keep picking up on this, but there is a divine feminine here and all of these people keep trying to tie you in it, but you're not with this person. You're not dealing with this person. You sailed on to the distant horizons and they want to involve you with it and see what it boils down is to their, this gay lover and this karmic female here are jealous of the love that this person has for you. This person is in despair because this person, I'm going to keep it honest with you. This person is not happy about being gay. This person doesn't want to be gay. I'm going to tell you why this person person doesn't want to be gay because they were molested as a child that's what spirit is telling me and it and it, whoever molested them i'm hearing a uncle molested this person maybe even a grandfather i feel like there's several masculines in this person's family that molested them as a child and it messed them up with they don't that's what's messed up their sexuality that's why they don't know if they like men and women they confuse but i feel like they do got love for this masculine but they don't want to be with this masculine to be honest they don't even want to be with this karmic feminine to be honest this person really wants to to come back with you and restore your family or something like that but that's over and done with because this person went too far because they were a narcissist and a devil in your life they mistreated you and all of that bad shit and they tried to humiliate you expose you tell lies on you and do all this type of fuck shit and bullshit so this is their fucking karma you it ain't no turning back you you on a new pathway you on a new journey you sailed on into the distant horizons you finna get a new person a wealthy man and spirit is finna gift you with great fortune but you are gonna get a message of concern i am seeing that and i feel like it's gonna be about this person's death so somebody might actually end up on their deathbed because where's the bad health card yeah look this person is gonna be in the hospital I keep picking up on this same energy and, and, and if you're new to my channel and you're like, damn, some of these messages sound repetitive. Yeah, defeated. This person is, it's like, this is what they tried to put you into the Ten of Swords, but they got all them swords back. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, some of my messages may sound repetitive, but that's just the energy that I'm picking up on. So, 
Y'all be careful out here. Be careful who you sleeping with because we have the lovers here. Be careful who you laying with, who you try to reconcile with. Yeah, you're this empress bossed up. You headed to success, man. Great fortune. I told you, you got some great fortune coming in. Keep going on your path. Keep going, going on your journey. But you about to get a message of concern. Somebody is too sick. Somebody may be in hiding, right? And they thinking about harming this gay lover. I feel like they done with this karmic energy. This karmic energy is wearing a facade, though. This karmic energy, you need to probably watch the cancer reading. But I'm I'm hearing that this master could just be thinking about killing their gay lover. But they too sick to do it. They ain't going to be able to fucking do it. Yeah, somebody is in hiding. I feel like everybody could be looking for this person. And they think this person is with you, but they're not. This person is in hiding. This person is in a shelter somewhere and hiding in another state or another fucking town. But I'm hearing somebody is going to fall out sick somewhere. I don't fucking know. Somebody may show back up to a mother house or a sister house or a friend house because they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have no more money for a room. Somebody could be in a hotel room or a shelter or they could be living in a hotel in a shelter. Somebody may. Yeah, I feel like wherever this person is, they're in solitude. I feel like this person. Look, I told you, look, despair card, wherever the fuck this person is, they're in solitude in thoughts thinking like, damn, why did I do that? Somebody hates themselves somebody can't even look at themselves in the mirror because this person doesn't want to be gay blessed i'm gonna I'm just say this off the strength bless they heart somebody just needs to repent and let go and let go and I, and I don't mean no harm but this is what i'm seeing with the death card this person is gonna have to come back and try again next lifetime man I don't see this person going to jail. Now, this other masculine may end up going to jail because they killed them. But I don't feel like they didn't kill them, like actually doing any, doing any physical harm to them. This other masculine is going to go to jail for intentionally giving this person AIDS when they knew they had it. That's a crime. This person knew they had AIDS, but they wanted to take revenge out on them because they've always been in love with this person and since they were kids. And they hated the fact that this person moved on and created a family with a female. This person saw this person as the love of their life. And I don't know who came on the coup. This so. I feel like this 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 masculine's gay lover came on to them. I feel like yeah. Yeah, this is sad. This masculine is not happy with themselves. They don't want to be. This is so if you haven't spoke to this masculine in a long time and this masculine could have blocked you or this, that, and the third, they're embarrassed of what their life has become. But they're also ashamed and embarrassed because they know that they mistreated you and they know that you didn't deserve what they put you through. But it's like, this is your karma. When you look judgment, I can't make this up. This is your karma. When you sow bad seeds, you shall reap. You reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful how you treat people. When the when you sign a deal with the devil or you sign your name in blood or you make a deal with the devil, the devil is going to collect you. The devil will trick you into believe that you're going to have a great fortune and you're going to have all these gifts and you're going to sell off into the distant horizons. But no, you got to be careful what, what seeds you plant. And this person is facing judgment, man, and somebody for to gain their wings for doing something to a chosen one in the earth angel but i'm not really seeing that with this somebody is finna they finna be they finna be on the other side but i am seeing this the good part about this is is that if when this person passes away they will be earthbound you know, because see, sometimes God and the, even even though this person has been a devil, OK, but see, God is telling me this person, God is sparing this person. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm going to keep it a thousand. This person is going to experience the death. I'm seeing somebody is going to pass away here. OK, I'm just going to keep it real with you. This person not going to make it. They too sick. And I feel like this person's gay lover knew that they were sick and they're going to go to jail for killing this person because they knew that they had AIDS and somebody wasn't on their medication. Somebody shouldn't even been sleeping with people. I feel like this person has not only did they have hurt and revenge in, in their heart for this person because they had a, they left them alone and went on and, and married a woman or got with a woman and had a family. This person is also hurt because they sleep around town with everybody and they call AIDS. So this person has been going around giving it to people. You feel what I'm saying? But this masculine here, this is what spirit is telling me. This masculine here, because, you know, if you're new to my channel, y'all might need to go. I have a video on my channel called The Prophetic Message of Death. Go watch that. I did this video when I first made my channel. But it's going to explain death in more detail. Just scroll down in my videos. I, it's called The Prophetic Message of Death. And I channel that movie, um, uh, Tales from the Hood. I channel the movie Tales from the Hood. So go watch that prophetic message on of death but anyways god is telling me that this person 
this person will have a death. There's going to be, I don't see a spiritual death. I see a physical death, but God is going to allow this person to be earthbound. And the reason, e even though they've been a devil, this person is not a page. They're not a knight. They none of that. They're not a king. They're not a, you know, none of that. Yeah, they coming out as the queen of wands because... They operate in feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's irresponsible. They lack responsibility. They lack accountability. You feel what I'm saying? So they don't take care of their children. They don't take care of their life. They, they, they ashamed. They in despair. But spirit is telling me because this person was molested as a child, this person doesn't want to be gay. This masculine kept coming on to them. This master, so this masculine could have used to spend a, this masculine could have used to spend a night over this masculine's house when they were kids or something like that. They could have even been caught by they by a mother they could have even been caught by a sibling but they all swept this under the rug from you this empress here but i feel like you could have intuitively picked up on this shit but spirit is telling me when this masculine passes away god is going to allow this person to be earthbound so they can clear out their karma and then go into second heaven you feel what i'm saying before judgment day but that's only up to their soul now, I'm also hearing if this person doesn't actually experience a death, this is what spirit is telling me. They have two choices here. This is what spirit is telling me. They have two choices. When this person is in the hospital with this bad health card, I feel like this person is going to get the, they're going to fall out somewhere because somebody is not taking care of themselves. Spirit keeps telling me this. Somebody is going to fall out somewhere and they're going to be rushed to the hospital and they're going to be instantly put into an intensive care unit. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like this person is going to have to be into it. I'm hearing an induced coma. This person is going to have to be into an induced coma. Okay. And when they're in this coma, the spiritual court is going to come down and I don't know what's going to take place because I'm not the grim reaper and I'm not God and I can't do anything for this person's soul only God can do that I'm just I'm just telling you what God is telling me you feel what I'm saying God is speaking through me right now but spirit is telling me that this person the spiritual court is going to come down and they're, they're going to call judgment while this person is they already call judgment over this person's life but they're going to call judgment again the spirit of court is going to come down and they're going to give this person an alternatum, alternatum. And they're going to say, do you choose God or do you choose the devil? And unfortunately, what I'm seeing, and I could be wrong, but what I'm seeing, this person is not going to choose God because this person's heart, their soul is too evil because this person is suffering. This person has too much pain. They're carrying too much weight because they were molested as a child by an uncle. And I'm hearing this uncle could have it too. This uncle could have still been sleeping with this person, even as an adult. I'm here and I'm telling y'all, I've been picking up on this. I, I did a blackout message a couple of days ago about this masculine who has an incurable STD and this whole family is full of incest. This whole family is going to have to be tested. And I'm also seeing you need to go watch the cancer read. I just did about this, this whole group of people that's finna go to jail, go to the feds. Watch that too. I keep picking up on this same recurring energy. I'm, I'm sorry that it sounds repetitive. But this is just the energy that I'm picking up on. But God of the spiritual court is going to come down and ask this person. But unfortunately, what I'm seeing, this person is not going to choose nothing. And I'm going to tell you why they're not going to choose nothing. They're not going to choose nothing because they don't want to. They don't have any spirituality. This person never believed in God. So they're not in tune with God. They're not in tune. They were never in tune with God in the physical. Even if they said they believed in God or loved God, this person didn't believe in God. I'm going to tell you why they never believed in God because they were molested as a child this person believed that god if you loved me why would you let me get molested god if you love me why would you let stuff happen in my life but see people don't understand we all have free will yeah we have child molesters in the world we have killers in the world we have all type of bad people in the world you feel what i'm saying but see god gives us free will god didn't tell you to molest nobody god didn't tell you to rob no bank god didn't tell you to kill nobody you decided to do that see god love us so much he give us free will you feel what i'm saying and so this person in their physical life they they and I'm not, hopefully they, I don't think they gone now, but unfortunately this person lived their physical life with not having a connection with God. So when the spiritual courts come down, their soul is probably not even going to be able to recognize the spiritual court court. And I'm explain that in detail. See, if you have a really, 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 really bad heart and you're really, really, really evil and you're really, really a fucking devil and you don't have a connection with God and you chose the devil and you sold your soul to the devil and you don't repent and you don't even see God, even when God gives you signs and synchronicities, even if you don't, if you don't try to have a relationship with God and you just truly don't believe in God, then unfortunately when you die, you will be sleeping in your grave. 
You feel what I'm saying? You won't get to go to second heaven in the second heaven and, and be in the spiritual realm and watch over your loved ones. You God won't let you be earthbound. You feel what I'm saying? To clear out your karma. You see what I'm saying? Most people that are earthbound, those people had a devil on their shoulder and an angel on their shoulder. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like God loved this person so much because of you. I feel like you spared this person because you could be somebody that's chosen. And I'm not saying you spared this person like you're God. You're, you sit in the palm of God's hands. God, because of the love that you have for this person, God is going to spare this person. And I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know, because I'm not God, but God is telling me this person may be spared and they may die and they may, and they may uh, be allowed to be earthbound and clear out their karma being earthbound or God will let this person be in a coma for a really, really long time and let them live. But they're going to have to live with this, in, this incurable STD for the rest of them lives, for the rest of their life. Go watch the movie temptation and get back to me. Cause this is what this is. This is somebody that fell in temptation. God bless this person with a family god bless this person with a wife and children and this person was too stuck they were too tormented they were too broken from their childhood but i'm hearing this either one or two things somebody's gonna have to end up living and i'm hearing they're not gonna live with this incurable std they're gonna be okay you know what i'm saying if they live but they're not they probably not gonna have they probably gonna lose their limbs i'm hearing somebody gonna lose their arms maybe in their legs they may be in a wheelchair i don't know you may have to help take care of this person i don't fucking know what the fuck is gonna happen all i fucking know is, is keep going on your journey keep going on your pathway use discernment you know what i'm saying because they did too much they tried to one up you you know what i'm saying they thought that the devil lied to this person. The devil used this person to go against you. The devil jumped into this person to use them to go against you. Because I feel like at one point, this person was a king of wands. And then they, they just turned into a straight devil and went against you. And the devil promised them all this money. This person thought they were going to be the king of pentacles off of betraying you. But God said, no, uh-uh, this is your justice. And look, God said, I'm speaking the truth, the straight truth. Anything else before I close this out? Yeah, you're about to get some type of message, man. I don't know when that is. But keep working hard. Keep moving forward, man. That's all I can tell you. I think that's it, y'all. All right. My name is the Comedic Medium Prophetess. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye, Leo.